Well guys, right here I got a, a cod, a rounder, a small cod piece, you know, it's still got the sound bone in it. And I'm going to uh, take the fill saw and I'm going to make a pitsick, cod pitsick out of, out of this one. I'm going to take the fill. But I'm going to leave the tail attached there because I want this... Uh, piece to hang the fish from. All right, just show you now how I, uh, how I do this. See, just cuts in, in through the underlying his backbone. Leaves an attach at the tail. And this is uh, rib bones goes up this way, so I'll separate them up here so I don't get no bones in it. I'm cutting back down. And do the same on the other side. See, you get the full, full fillet. And still attach at the tail here. So now just sort of line over the top of the rib bones like that. And there you have it. See, you got the filt to cast the fish here, and I got it still attached to the tail part. Now I'll do the same on the opposite side. Knife nail is uh, not very sharp at the point. to the sand bone so I guess every bit of the fish Now I'm just going to uh, cut down through the flesh about, I don't know, quarter inch wide, I guess, and kind of on a little bit of a slant, and just down through the skin. You don't want to cut the skin. Okay, I'm just going to continue cutting. I'll get them all done. And then, just going to sprinkle with a bit of salt. Not too much, you know. Hard for me to see what's actually coming out of the shade here, the way the light is. There we go. I got the, the fire going here in the shed. And I got these two now on, uh, just hung on the moose rack here. And you want to kind of like, just make sure to separate them a little bit. Gently open them up so they dry. Just gently do it. Like that. I had Pitsick that's only hung here for a few hours, but just checking out here now. And look at that. And I'm going to uh, put a big junk, a uh, burst junk in the stove and uh, so it'll be a little bit of heat and shit all night. And I'll put another one in the morning. Oh yeah, looks good. Now, come and uh, check on the cod pitsick. Oh yeah, looks real good. It's been drying for a little over two days now. So, uh, yeah, you know, you can, this is good to eat as it is right now, but I'm gonna let it dry for another day. And uh, I'm actually, uh, making this for somebody uh they don't know that yet <laughs> so i'll be a little surprised for them tomorrow 
and of course a little bit for myself but yeah it's looking real good looking real good and there you have it cad pit sink now this is uh, what the pit sink looks like after four days of drying and you know this card this is preserved now uh, you could take this and uh, throw it in your pack sack and take it in and just nibble on a little bit whenever you want it. I got some there for myself. I'll do a little taste test once. And also, uh, the modern Lyle is going to be in town tomorrow, so she really enjoys some of this as well. Just give you some close ups here. Just show you what it looks like here now. And right here. I got some here now. Uh, the wife is going to drop off to uh, someone who works in the same office there as she do. And uh, I'm a real nice surprise, a real nice treat for her. I hope she enjoys it. <laughs> yep. You know, with Pitsick, I find that, uh, you know, the the longer you dry it for uh, the more, a little more fishier it tastes you get. It's kind of like cheese, you know, or anything like the longer uh, it ages, the more flavor develops. And I would suggest probably if you were going to uh, make some and give it a try, uh, after a day or so, sample a little bit. After the second day, you know, sample a bit more and the third day, sample it again like that. And uh, you'll uh, figure out what kind of flavor you like best, you know. You know, some people like mild cheese, some people like old cheese and Kind of same with Pitsick, you know, some people don't like a dry too much. Some people like a dry a lot, really likes that more developed flavor. Yeah, I would almost say, you know, I like cod pit sick better than trout and char. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, so it was a nice little treat. I'm just going to Hang the rest back on the rack. Now I'm gonna go out for a little hunt and uh, I'll enjoy a little bit of that pit stick uh, anytime I want. I'm gonna save the other one, like I said, for the mother in law, but this one here is mine. And you know, that's so good. I, I probably will be making uh, more again soon. But I guess that's it for this one, though, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching. Take care. All the best from the big land. <laughs>